Mid Journey just released their character reference tool. I have been dying for this to be released. I feel like I've been testing this little code CREF every day, knowing that it was going to be released from when they mentioned it in their office hours a week and a bit ago, I think. And when I tell you the way I just power walked home from the walk I started, as soon as the notification popped up on my phone saying that, hooray, today we're testing the tool, we're testing the tool. I, I literally just dropped everything and ran. So this is my first time testing this. I am nervous because I have no idea what we're gonna get, but I'm also very, very excited. Just so we can recap what this is, we have be released in their announcement today that this feature is similar to the style reference feature. Now, if anyone's used style reference, it is honestly game changing. What it does is essentially looks at the color palette, the composition of your image, your existing image, and it gives you images in the same style, the same color tone, the same lens composition as the one that you're feeding into it originally. So it looks at that. So what it's saying is that instead of the style reference feature, this is going to try and make a character match the character reference image. So the way it works is really similar. You have the dash dash C-R-E-F, and then you put in the URL of your image, which is the image of your character. You can also modify the reference strength from 100 to zero. So 100 is the default, and it uses the face, hair, and clothes, and zero is more focusing on the face, which is good for changing outfits and hair. That's what Midjourney have just said in their announcement on their Discord. What else, what else? It also says that it works best with characters made from Midjourney and it's not designed for real people or photos because it will likely distort them. Okay, so I actually created a character earlier that I was playing with. It is this little guy right here. Super cute. I want to see what he looks like in a bunch of different settings. This is the first time playing with this, so you are going to get my real-time thoughts. Let's play. So we're going to drag and drop him in here to create a URL. Okay, cool. Here he is. Okay. Now I'm going to copy link. Okay, imagine a young boy with blue hair in a schoolyard. C R E F. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm so excited. All right, not bad. Not bad. Not exactly. I feel like it's mimicking his his like mouth a little bit here. So this one's pretty good just different lighting this one's a bit off don't know why he has a love heart on his ear but that's fine his clothes are all the same so that's really cool what is his clothes here oh wow okay so it's picked up on the clothing so in this reference image he has a yellow long sleeve top and some kind of straps which wasn't intentional it was just in my original image so it seems to have picked up on the yellow here and changed it to blue straps for school. That's not bad. That's actually not bad. It's not like 100%, but it's definitely pretty good. Um, all right, let's try him in. Let's like maybe not prompt the fact that he has blue hair. So I'm going to copy this code at the end. And I am just going to say this boy. See if that makes a difference. Boy, where do I want to put him in a... This boy on a beach. There we go. Okay, right. Let's see what happens now. That's interesting. He seems to be half in the water here. This one's a bit better. He's actually at the beach. This one's like a drawn version where his pants are back to front. <laughs> Overall, not bad. He's still got the yellow shirt. This one seems to have inverted it. This one's inverted it again. Let's just like prompt that again. Wide shot. Let's do this. Wide shot of, let's get rid of this. Wide shot of boy on a beach. Okay, it's thinking, it's thinking. All right, what do we got here? Okay, not bad, not bad. His head is a bit back to front here. This one's a little bit, I don't know what's happening here. It's like a half drawn, but still kind of looks like him. His legs are back to front here, but this one's a little bit better. So overall, not bad. It's definitely a lot better than it used to be, which is fantastic. I wonder if I prompted it to be a bit more like cinematic, if I elongated the prompt, you know, 3D animation, standing, looking, 
at the sunset. Sorry for my typo. I wonder what that would do. Oh, this should be interesting. I want to I want to see what it does to his skin tone because he's got like quite a translucent skin tone. It's like very white. So I'm curious to know how that's going to hold up with the light and the composition around him, how it's going to affect him. You know what? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Again, I don't know why his clothes are back. His clothes are backwards here and here. But these two are okay. This one I actually really quite like. I mean, his face is a little warped. But overall, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty exciting, actually. All right, let's try it with a different image. So I have this really cute little girl that I made. And I'm starting with animation because it did say that real photos might be a problem. So let's try with these first, then we'll get to that. So this is a little girl that I made the other day. So let's try with her. Imagine the young girl bringing a sand. I don't know why I'm on the beach. Maybe because I just like hot in LA right now and I'm like kind of wanting to be at the beach. Young girl playing with a sand castle. So yeah, ready. All right, let's see what happens. Should have said building a sand castle rather right? than playing with the sand castle, but here we are. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, this is really cute. Oh, I love this one. This one here is gorgeous. I like that. That actually really looks like her. Let's see. She has brown, like, hazel eyes here. She has hazel eyes here, here. This one's a little bit too real. That's not very 3D, so I, I'm, I'm not going to pay attention to that one. But this one definitely feels like her. This one feels like her. This one is kind of like her, except she has green eyes. It's also like very desaturated. I don't know why it's it. That actually happened to the character above, if you notice. So maybe it's part of how it's pulling the character. It's kind of like desaturating the colors a little bit. But look, her hair is pretty much exactly the same. Like if we look at this side part with like the little kink that she's got going on. That side part happens here with the kink. It's also there, even though this is more realistic. It's here. It's here as well. Amazing. Um, let's now copy this and put her in a completely different setting that doesn't have golden lighting. So let's go imagine young girl standing in front of a large spaceship. In space. Space. Let's put her in space. Looking scared. I don't know what this is going to do. That was probably not the greatest prompt in the world, but hey. Also, her clothing is the same. Yep, I'm just looking at it. Yeah, her clothing is white. Cool, cool, cool. Amazing. Oh, cool. This is looking really cool already. Oh, wow. Oh, she's so cute, you guys. Oh, I adore her. Okay, let's see. She's... She's scared. She's still in the same kind of outfit with the collar and the white. This one, she looks a little bit different, but like it could pass if you're working on concept art for sure. Um, if you are animating this and you wanted it consistent throughout, I probably wouldn't use this image because it is slightly different. Her eyes are a little different, but she's still got the hair. She's still got the kink. She's still got the fringe. This one's really cute. Uh, I don't love this one, but I get what it's trying to do. Again, though, I'm noticing that the colors are very muted. So it seems to have like washed out everything. I think if you look, it also happened to our, I thought it was maybe his skin tone, but he's pretty washed out here too. So not sure what that is, but uh, it seems to be something that's happening across the board with the reference tool, but that's fine. We can just put, put a filter on it later in post if I wanted to use this and create a cohesive storyline. All right, so now... These characters work pretty well. I'm going to just airdrop a photo I prompted in my journey from my phone. And I'm just going to pop it in here because it said that it's really good for characters, but not necessarily real faces. Now, I get some really realistic results with my journey. So I am curious to see how it works with this photo. This is a woman that I prompted yesterday. Let's see how, how it works with her. So, oops, let's first... Add her here. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give her the same 
like the same prompt as this one, just out of curiosity. It's a completely different color palette to what's here. So I'm going to copy this link. Girl standing in front of a large spaceship in space looking scared. Let's see what happens. Might be a little too complicated for this, but I'm curious. She's thinking, she's thinking, she's thinking. Picking up on her earrings being flowers. I'm curious to know if it's going to put flowers in her hair or what it's going to do. Oh, this is actually kind of funny. <laughs> right. Honestly, not bad. Little cartoonish, but like, not bad. This is a little bit funny. She's not wearing clothes and it's she used the flowers to cover her up. So that's fascinating. In this one, it's used the flower as like the opening to the ship. It's a little bit of I feel like it's a bit Stranger Things, except prettier. And then it's put flowers down her neck. <laughs> That's really funny, down her spine, rather. This one just has a flower here. And then, look, she's got, like, a flower tattoo. Huh. Okay, and then it's... This one, she's still got flower, but, like, giant flower earrings. Overall, though, she looked kind of great. Like, her hair length is exactly the same. Pretty much the same, yep. So her hair length is just, like, right to here... She's got hair that goes right to there as well, even though it's like flicking out. Could probably prompt it without the, <laughs> without the earrings. Obviously, it had a really hard time with that. But overall, like she's looking, her skin tone's great. She's not as muted. Her eyebrows are the same. Her eye color is the same. Her skin tone is the same. I think I said that. This is really good. Now, if I wanted to make this a bit more realistic, because you can see it's coming out a little cartoonish, I would probably take this to Magnific as the next step. Magnific AI, if anybody, if you haven't used it, like, honest to God, greatest program, like, ever. I, my life has changed since using it. So I would take this to Magnific to, like, give her a little bit more realism. Okay, so she's looking good. All right, let's try one more thing. I am going to... So I created some squirrels drinking coffee the other day because I guess I really needed coffee in the morning and I was in some kind of mood. It's a beautiful part of living in LA. I feel like um, I just, I'm obsessed with all the squirrels that are around. Okay, so this is, sorry, blah, blah, blah. This is a squirrel that I made the other day. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. Okay, let's have him paint an art piece. He's got like the hat for it. He kind of looks like a painter. So let's go imagine squirrel painting an art piece in his bedroom. In his bedroom. Let's copy this link. Oh, let's go CREF again for that character reference. And let's, oops, let's paste this link right there so it knows to point to that image. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, what have we got here? Oh my gosh. Okay, so not quite the same squirrel. What is happening here? Um, okay, so here we have two squirrels. He's got a big paintbrush that is attached to the back. It looks a little bit like, like, you know, in Ghostbusters when they're trying to <laughs> get the ghost. That is exactly what this contraption looks like, except a squirrel version of it. Or at least in my mind, that's what I'm choosing to believe. Okay, so he's showing his buddy a painting here. In this one, he's all excited about a paintbrush, although his body is a little small. I feel like his body is small, but he's got the hat, he's got the outfit, or at least half the outfit, so that's not bad. For an animal, that's not bad. He's got the hat here. This one's probably the most like, let's see here. No, this one's got chubby cheeks. His color's a little dark, but this one's a little brighter. Okay, so it really is just like any kind of squirrel at this point, but it has picked the outfit. So that's exciting. All right, there we have it, everybody. Okay, so my key takeaways are that Mid Journey has done a really fantastic job at finally, finally giving us character consistency. The facial structure was pretty much the same. The hair was the same. The clothing, although it wasn't something I prompted for, was definitely something that it looked out for. So overall, I'm really, really impressed. I tested it with a 3D model, a photorealistic model, and an animal. And across the board, it seemed to adapt the key features and give me really, really great results. 
I think it could definitely struggle a little bit with the animals. I had a very specific looking squirrel and it did not give me that squirrel. It gave me a light squirrel. However, I paid attention to its color and the clothing. And so therefore it was like giving me something really, really close. So I think that that was an area to be improved. Some of the limitations are weird quirks that I encountered like color desaturation. Maybe I need to work on my prompts to really talk about the types of film stock that I'm using, the types of environment like I would when I originally prompted these images. So it's something to pay attention to. But occasionally it also gave us some pretty unrealistic outputs. For example, the body was backwards on the head and that happened quite a few times. That was a little bit funny to encounter. Looking forward to playing with it even more to see if I can get more specific with the way I want to face the body and see how it responds to that. Overall, pretty impressed. And I'm excited to keep playing with this and keep honing in to bringing my characters to life. I'm so excited. This is, this is really exciting.